Black Soldier. The problem is, nobody asked him. We were kidnapped off the street so you could remodel us. There's no escape. Surrender to your fate. Sidewalk 009, starting Monday, June 30th at 6. How did I do all this? Being half human, ain't all that. the perfect vessel for his brilliant mind. You're crazy if you think I'm gonna let you get your hands on my brain! Your body belongs to me! He needs the world's strongest fighter. Goku's gonna give it to him. I know he's still alive. Even after all of that? Go and attack the intruder! Tsunami presents a special one-hour Dragon Ball Z movie, The World's Strongest, next, only Tsunami. From the deepest reaches of space, some darkness approaching, the ultimate enemy has arrived. I have a bad feeling about all this. Their single purpose, destroy our world. Let's plant this thing. From the seeds of destruction, a new threat has arisen. A tree with the power to enslave a planet. A tree of might will leave Earth withered up and dry. Seven heroes are all that stand in its way. I won't let the Earth be destroyed. Power up! Bring it on! Battle for Earth begins. Tree of Might. Friday, December 15th at 5. Only Tsunami. books do we find traditional government. Real power is in the hands of the Zaibatsus, the multinationals. The Zaibatsus, the multinationals that shaped the course of human history, had transcended old barriers, hives with cybernetic memories, vast single organisms, their DNA coated in silicon. Kingpins in a given industry would be both more and less than people. A gradual and willing accommodation of the machine, the system, the parent organism. I, I 
think we're moving toward a world where all the consumers under a certain age would probably tend to identify more with their consumer status or with the products they they consume than they would than they would with a right. I believe in myself. I'm strong, I'm beautiful, and I have decent rhythm. So I think I think I've messed around with the options and found a solution that is not bizarrely laggy. But I'm gonna play this a little bit just to see if I've got the swing of it. Thanks, Katie. Four years, yeah. How, how long did you play Marvel? You dropped out. Hello, Woods Co Wood Woodcox Johnson. Yeah, Trim Master's dead forever. Okay, that, that feels good. Yeah? I don't know what the deal was. Thanks for the reset, Hobo. A thousand days? Then yeah. Wow. Wait. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. Took me a second. That's humbling. What's up, Lalo? Oh! Jay Rickle, you know it's you know it's gamer time. All right, whatever. Audio ducking is slightly aggressive, so you might want to lower it by five percent. What does that even mean? Five percent. Five percent. Lucifer, if you know what five percent means, you tell me. Um. I can lower the amount of compression, but that's not something that happens in percents. Also, if I if I tab out of this game, some things might break, so I'm just gonna leave it. I just won't talk much while a song's going on. But your uh, your feedback is noted. It's it's hard to get everything right all the time. What's up, Dreadlock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it pass? No. Yeah, I whiffed, I whiffed the tambourine section. It's pretty hard. It's, um... I'm realizing that, like... One of the harder things about this is when you're playing on a, a Wii remote. Um, the B is a trigger. Like, it's just a button. But here it's analog, so there's a lot of fluff to get through before it, like... You don't know when exactly the trigger button acknowledges itself. I don't know how to fix that. That's just going to be something I got to get used to. However, Dr. Dreadlock. Uh, level 1 egg! I got to warm up a little bit. Plus, I haven't played any of those mini games yet um, since sitting down. But Dreadlock hit me with that tier 1 sub, though. So let me. And actually, now that I'm. Now that I'm yeah, go straight to hell! Mm -hmm. Now that I'm tabbing out of the game, I might as well. I, I can lower the compression a smidge. Oh boy. Ugh. Okay, we're good. So yeah, playing in full playing in full screen mode seemed to help. So did uh, changing the renderer on my Wii. You know, there's a little switch for it. You just reach down that little switch and you change it. Uh, let's see. Okay. I, I lowered the compression ratio a little bit. What may also seem like it's a little extra spicy is that uh, I think that game's playing f like full full loud, which is how I would prefer all games to play, but they don't. Hey, Turbid! Oh shit! That's three years. All right, let me let me get you a song too then. 
first up, Dr. Dreadlock in with the sub. I'm gonna play a song for that. I keep, so I put on a crackle log behind me and it's crackling and I love it. But uh, I keep hearing things and thinking that there's like bugs or something. I gotta get that crackle, you know? All right, I'm gonna play a real mellow one to start off because I'm feeling mellow right now, but things will, things will amp up. So Dr. Dreadlock, thanks for subbing. Here's a, here's a real mellow track for you. Sounds like a, like Pilot Wing 64 music. Turbid for your three years. I'm gonna play. This is an interesting track. I like this one a lot. I used to listen to it all the time. It's from, it's from F Zero, but it's it's awesome. So, thanks for the three years of subs. Please enjoy. says will subpipes be affected by twitch's new music policy what is it um because probably i don't think i've heard of it though <clears throat> the ending of google trends was just a reference to that tim allen movie or is lana gonna host for a while uh both actually uh she is taking over hosting and producing yeah. duties for that show which i meant to actually talk about on dude soup but time got away from me i did not realize that last week's dude soup was the last one before this episode of, of google trends was going on so, whoops. But, uh, yeah, I'll make a more official announcement about that. Hey, Angel Frame. Good tunes? Yeah. Hopefully the tunes will get even better. Provi uh, probably, provided I don't fuck them up. No, Richard Swift. I don't think so, no. Thank you, Value City. For the Prime sub. Maybe I should practice Tambourine Monkey? Or just keep bashing away at Remix 2 until I get it. I don't know, we'll see. Black Keys and Shin guys. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not super familiar. I've listened to some tracks by the Shins, but... Okay. Three, four. 
Holy shit, I'm doing so bad. Um, I think it is just me being bad. I don't know how to... Man, I, got, I gotta get good. I think it's just me being bad. But I don't know how to, like... There's so much motion in this in this trigger that you you have to like go ta 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 and I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Maybe I should just play on keyboard. Just for the sake of a uh, the sake of or maybe like maybe the two bumpers. How much does this game cost? It was like it was sixty dollars when it came out, but it's it's hard to find now. Cuervo, thank you for the prime sub. All right, I'll. I'll give it a few more attempts, and if I'm just if I'm just biffing it real hard, that uh, yeah, Pixel, Rhythm Heaven is great, and nobody knows what it is. It's it's weird. It's the perfect game. What's what's off about it? Something's just off. I don't know what it is. I'll, I'll keep trying, but you gonna help me, dog? <clears throat> dog will probably help me. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, fine. I get it. Here, I'll, I'll practice tambourine monkey. I mean, I haven't, I haven't nailed that at all, so... I feel like with the tambourine, I had to hit the buttons way earlier. It felt like I did. Marco, this is a real game. For the realest gamers. This is the... What the fuck is me? Alright. It's weird that you, you have to like... Joshua with the two month prime sub? Wait, I th thought you'd been subbed before. This would qualify you for a, for a sub hype. <sighs> Katie, what, what paper are you writing right now? God damn it. I sub all the time on and off. That's what I thought. I was like, I swear I've seen you sub before. So it seems like... I just have to, like, hit the buttons and not listen to the game. Your rhythm seems to change a lot. Try to rebind the controller or try the keyboard. Probably better for you then. I mean, yeah, it's it's controller right now. And it's... The rhythm is, like, the dis difference between that and the, the thing pressed all the way down. Even the buttons are a little spongy, which is kind of fucking with me. So, it, I do think I'd do a lot better if I was using keyboard, but I wanted to avoid that. 
um, or like two buttons. I might, um, yeah, let me, let me plug something else into my, my GameCube. Uh, yeah, let's see. Actually, let me try this. Ah, oh, you fucking dick smoke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay, that should that ought to do it. I've now put A and B on the bumpers. <laughs> That, that should get it. That should get it. And it's just, it's just fucking buttons now. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I'm, I'm, I'm pro rhythm man now. I'm sure I'll just, I'm just gonna fucking annihilate it. Yeah, it's squishy buttons, man. Never thought it would be an issue, but... The tambourine section is just fucked, and I don't know why. Like, I just didn't even didn't even get the notes. Whatever, man. Passed. I'm gonna celebrate by popping open my... Yeah. What is this? Cran Blaster Buzzball. Ugh. For fucking, you know, Thanksgiving. Hmm. Well, at least I hatched. Yeah, Stephanie's playing Call of Duty. Moving on! Hell yeah. D plus good enough, yeah. 9 out of 10, it's okay. Random cans on your table, pretty much. Oh, some Game and Watch references.
Those are the big ones. No, oh, I fucked it. No. Oh. But the same guy does WarioWare. I don't think so, actually. It looks super similar, right? But there's some DNA shared there for sure. All right. New learning. Tapping the bumper repeatedly is not comfortable. It makes the, it makes your like forearm stress out. So I need a face button for that, for A. And then I need another button for B. Which might be like left bumper instead of a trigger. So we're getting there. <laughs> this game on PC. Not officially. Not legally. Oh yeah. Fucking perfect. Yeah, it does it does feel super warrior aware. I mean it might be. It might be. I might be talking out of my ass on that one. Let me see here. A is a U, the B is a U. That oughta maybe that'll do it. Boy, please come back to me. Okay. I think we're set. <sighs> I guess I could try for a perfect. Sure. Whatever. Let's see if I can do it. Hi from me and Ziblix. Just got laid. I'm gonna go to bed, so I wanted to say hi. Hello, Carmine. Congratulations. The rhythm Heather are the same team. All right. That makes a lot of sense then. Yeah, good call. I thought it wasn't. I, I'll admit to being wrong on that one. your system turn down the game audio when talking. Um, there is a compression filter in OBS that does sidechain ducking. And through implementation of that. So many peas! Dude ate like 30 peas! He's so stuffed! Gotta assemble widgets. Oh yeah, this is one of the original, like, Rhythm Heaven games. One of the first ones. Yep. Oops. Very briefly changed my mind about what B should be. Oh boy. Now you're gonna do this a lot. And you're gonna do this a lot. Don't do that. Oh fuck. Oh boy. Okay, well, I'll just hope and pray that it's still there and that there's still sound. You guys can let me know if it decided to turn itself off.
No sound? Really? That's what I thought. Hold on a minute. Alright, well, whatever. <sighs> you sure do love. Yep, yep, it sure does love turning itself off. Why is it that the games that ha have to run full screen are also the ones that uh, need to be tabbed out of the most? There's no WarioWare for Switch. No, there's not. Not to, not to my understanding. What's up, Rizzle? Alright, there ought to be audio now. I think we're good. Roller Kibon. Thanks for the Prime sub. Nintendo should get on that, I agree. I mean, they just put out one for 3DS. Not not too, too long. Too much longer to go. So. Oh, I just did this. I just did the practice, so. Fucked me. Ugh. Oh, fuck you and your stupid dog. Mmm. <clears throat> yeah, Shades, I've been playing Red Dead. I enjoy it a lot. Oh, hell yeah, this one. Is this where the cats are, like, playing... Playing shuttlecock on top of airplanes? Pretty sure. Yep. Oh, I guess it's a dog too. A little badminton. A little badminton in the air. Two player mode. I don't know what that means. One, two, one, two, three, four. Next up, we, yep. Uh, I actually do. I have a Wii and a Wii U, and I own this game physically. But, I also have one on my computer that's running this game way better than a Wii ever did. Let's fucking do this! I'm ready for your ass. Whoop! I wasn't ready!
Uh, how lame is that? It's very lame. I, I stumbled through that one. Oof. Yeah, they sure did. Bong. I am using sidechain compression. How do you set that up? I can't really walk you through it while I'm streaming. Google it and experiment yourself. Which one of the games do you find faster or slower songs easier? Neither. It's, um, to me, it's... The thing that I find challenging, and the thing that I love about this game is they, uh... Is they try to... They'll fuck with you. Like, as you saw. But they do it in, like, cute ways. So that you can't be mad, even though you are mad. So they'll, they'll establish, like, visual, uh, patterns and then throw you off. Or something. Uh, but yeah. Well, oh yeah, so yeah. Was it freaky? Yeah, if you, um, it's the compressor, uh, plug-in, and it's defaulted to Twitch, or in OBS, and they just added the ability to sidechain it. Um, so, yeah, feel free to play around with that. It can be a little confusing, um, but yeah. People say it's a little strong on this stream, and I, I could totally see why, if, if the game is loud. But that's why I, I did that on purpose, because I want the game to be audible, especially for a game like this. And to me, the streams are more showcasing the game than it is me. At best, it's showcasing me being good at a game. But I still consider that a... Or I'm only accentuating the hard work done by the game creators, so... These are game appreciation streams. One, two, one, two, three, four! I got the last one. <laughs> Distant shout, yeah. <sighs> okay, yeah, whatever. Never thought of streaming a fighting game. Yeah, I've done it a few times. Um, I ha I've wanted to get back into Street Fighter V for a long time. Um, I've been playing Soul Calibur VI, but I'm, I'm not good at it. I've just been tooling around the single player mode. Mm. I'm probably going to be streaming a bit of Smash once it comes out. I thought about picking up the drums. I've thought about it, but I don't need a drum kit. I mean, Rock Band for me is enough drumming. Uh, but I do like playing Rock Band drums. Do you think Nintendo should include achievements or trophies into their systems? Ah, uh, not really. Unless they can think of something really cool to do with it. I don't really need it. All right. Need to pump up his muscles exactly when he punches the bag. Jab, 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 jab. Nice. One, two. One, two. One, two. 
One, two. One, two. One, two. Mm. One, two. Man. One, two. One, two. Fuck. One, two. One, two. How do you react in time? One, two. One, two. Just gotta kinda know what's coming. Huh. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! What's up, Zeltux? Thanks for the prime sub. Alright, so it's, this is an A button game. Alright. What two? What two? What two? And jab, jab. What two? What two? What two? And jab, 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 jab. Go go go! And jab, 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 jab. Go go go! And jab, 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 jab. Go, go, go! And jab, 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 jab. Go, go, go! And jab, jab. One, two. Go, go, go! One, two. And jab, jab. One, two. Go, go, go! One, two. And one, two. One, two. And jab, jab, jab. And one, two. And jab, jab. One, two. And jab, jab, jab. And one, two, and jab, jab. Go, go, go! And jab, 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 jab. Go, go, go! And jab, 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 jab. Go, go, go! And jab, jab. And one, two. Yeah, that one felt off, right, Otter? Mm. Something just feels a little off, which to me reinforces the need to play this game on its original hardware, and I might, I might end up doing that, just because this has awoken the fire in me. <clears throat> we had realized we hadn't tried that yet. Oh, you think it was more generous with its timing window? It could be. Before I can even do the second one. Jab, 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 jab. Go, go, go! One two, jab, jab. One two, jab, jab, jab. One two. I don't know how you get those one twos ever. 
One, two. One, two. Jeff, Jeff, go, go, go! Jeff, Jeff, go, go, go! Jeff, Jeff, go, go, go! Jeff, Jeff. Oh boy, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh. Yeah, it could have been better. Bong. Be a singer someday. Mm. Okay, I gotta I gotta be more aggressive on those one twos. I gotta know they're coming basically. Hey Nasir. Yeah, the farts are pretty great. <laughs> Not warm. Jeff, Jeff, go, go, go! Ready for those one twos? One two. One two. One two. Destroyed it right all at the end. Bleh. Nope. Mm. Well, it's getting better. Although, Memer Lemer hit me with that sub. Hold on a minute. Ooh. Jesus. Jesus. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. Let me know how long we live. No idea. No idea. Until I pass out. I feel like Stephanie's taking a break. She's trying to earn a... Trying to earn a sweet cod gun. So, in the meantime... I gotta find a sweet track. Did you seen the new Keen Hearts trailer? No. I don't know. I'm 
I've been kind of hanging hanging loose from the trailers. I'll just play it when it comes out. It's kind of where I'm at. All right. Thanks for the sub. Uh, Memer, Lemer, 69. Great, great, great name. Here's a great track for you. Uh, so wait a second, uh, Awful Millennial, love calling you by name, your real internet name, what is, what is the new Twitch music policy you were referring to? Also, you guys still hear music, right? I hope. Alright. Glad it's still working. Nauseous. 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 Thank you for the prime sub. Took me a second. All right. I'm going to get it. I feel like if I didn't completely whiff it on that last boxing segment, it would have been fine. Hold on a minute. Try it again. Air Tree, thank you for the prime sub. And yeah, Angelic, I played the 3DS rhythm or rhythm heaven. Mega Mix. I played it on a flight from Seattle, I think. Back to LA. Basically blew through the whole game. It was really fun. It was worth it. Jeff! Jeff! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Jeff! One, two! One, two! One, two! One, two! One, two! Go, go, go! Jeff, Jeff, go, 
go, go! Jab, jab, go, go, go! Jab, jab. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, shit. I'm getting better. I'm getting better, so at least at least there's progress. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> also titled Tambourine. I don't think I'm gonna get any perfect on a fucking tambourine. Not drinking enough gamer fuel? Not yet. Mega boring, but I'm working on it. I feel like I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it in the next next couple of tries. I feel like I'm on the verge. I'm just making like dumb mistakes. It's getting hard to find in its physical form. It might be at this point. That one might have been good enough. I some of those one twos. I don't know how I can get that. I don't know how I can reliably get those. Instead, of, I guess I just gotta fucking memorize it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, the badminton scream is so so good, and it's good that the music is so catchy because it just repeats endlessly. <laughs> good night, Pixel. Sleep well. Yeah, I mean, the one-twos are just... The the audio cue for that is so confusing. You have to cut in way earlier than you think you do. To the point where you can't really react to the audio cue of the one-two. You have to know it's there and be ready to hit the button. There's too much mental lag of, like, hearing it and then hitting a button. Jab! Jab! Go, go, go! Jab. 
One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Probably gonna kill me again. One, two. One, two. Okay, so I, I just... Oh, good enough, okay. Fuck it! I'll take it. Alright, fine. Who cares? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Moving on with my life. Oh, hell yeah! Oh! We made it! We made it! First second I get more uh, holiday beverage. So I'll be back. This one's important. This one's important. This is the important one, all right? This is the sweaty, uh, sweaty dude one. <laughs> zubba zubba zubba, that's true. Exactly, pumpin pumpkin. Okay, you know what you're in for. If you guys want earworms, this is it. But uh, it's gonna be a minute. Hey! A lot of flexing and cheering. Anyway, thank you, Millennial, for the cheer. Be back in a moment. Let's see. People are, we're increasingly sort of interchangeable. When William Gibson's visions were published, they struck sparks in the real world. Scientists and hackers had found a future they couldn't wait to build, couldn't wait to live in, couldn't wait to sell. William Gibson, godfather of cyberpunk, found himself in a situation where he was actually programming the future. Never before had science fiction literature determined the way people thought and spoke about new technology. This synthesis of fiction and fact proved to be of value to each. And now, cyberpunk is a movement looking set to blast toward the millennium. So, uh, what do we got to eat here? Well, today we got the cream of banana soup. The banana and peanut butter sandwich. Hey, well, your name is uh, George... Uh... George Zachary from Silicon Graphics. I was wondering if you could help me out a little bit in explaining the game. Sure, it's, uh, it's, it's a really cool game. It was created on this thing called The Challenge, which is this really advanced supercomputer. Basically, picture 20 supercomputers in a box. Now, with all this technology, am I going to have to buy an adapter for my home Nintendo? Not at all. In fact, uh, when the game was created on The Challenge, it was basically specially output to the Super Nintendo game system. So it basically comes in a cartridge, you stick it in the system, and you play. How do we make the, the roundness, the 3D? Actually, it's created on the, on the challenge, first in a wireframe. Actually, then you grow shade them, or you can fong shade them, and then you actually texture map them. And you can even try linearly bitmap interpolate. That sounds a little dangerous. Uh, let me ask you this. I heard downstairs something about ACM yeah, technology. Yeah, that's, that's advanced right? computer modeling. Basically, what you can do with it is it lets you create fully realistic, fully rendered 3D graphics so the person has a sense of, like, of really being there. Same computers that were used in Terminator 2, Jurassic Park, new movies like True Lies, Mask. 
year and a half later, we're closing on the finish of the game. <laughs> All right, here we are. We're about to talk to two guys who play this game 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And guess what, folks? Guess what? They get paid. This is Henry. Henry, say hello. Hey, what's up? Henry, uh, we wondered if maybe you could show us a couple tips and pointers. Yeah, sure. No problem. That'd be great. Great. Okay, well, this is the first level, and this is Donkey Kong's Treehouse, and that's okay. where we got our name from. And there's a banana arrow on top of the trees when you first start. Donkey Kong can drop down there, and he can knock the keg out of the floor, and he can roll it up against the wall and bounce back and ride it. Ah. And Donkey Kong will just cruise straight through the first part of this stage, and it's a good way to get people started off. You can just bowl over some of the tougher enemies that might have gave him a problem. Right there. Hey, you hungry? You want a banana? No. Well, I guess I could show you something else, too. This is a snow level later on in the game. It is snowing. Donkey Kong can now ride, you know, ride thin barrels and shoot out. And this one part here is a series of barrels, and if you can navigate it properly, almost perfect, and not miss anything, you can score a bunch of free men at the end of the level. A bunch of free men, not just one. A bunch. A blue balloon comes up, and Donkey Kong can grab it. There oh, it is. Very hard. It's tough. You got to get it down perfect. And wow! So you get a bunch of free men. We begin today with MIDI music on the Atari ST. This is the National Association of Music Merchants Convention being held this year in Anaheim. The NAM, as it's called, is the premier international marketplace for musical products. And it's no surprise that it looks more like a computer show than a music convention. As usual, one of the stars at NAM is Atari, long the musician's favorite. And at this year's NAM, Atari's new music division helped launch several new third-party products. C-Lab was showing off its notator sequencer. Notator lets you work on nearly 1,600 separate tracks, of which 64 can be simultaneous. Each track can contain 16 separate and simultaneous MIDI channels. Mike Pinder is one of the original members of the Moody Blues, and he uses Notator. Right now, I'm doing a lot of sequencing involving flying in. Right, back at it. Whoop! Hey, come on now. What ring set? Hey, hey. Masculine dudes being dudes. I'm here for it. I'm pretty sure I know this one because I played it a lot. Bubba dubba dubba, is that true? Bubba dubba dubba, is that true? Bubba dubba dubba, is that true? Okay, that's right. It's A twice, I thought it was A and B, so that... Whoa, you go, big guy! <laughs> Whoa, you go, big guy! <laughs> Whoa, you go, big guy! <laughs> it's the perfect video game. Okay. Of Kala. This is the best game ever, Memer. Except for the match. Yeah, quite destiny. They did a really good job uh, translating the gibberish. She goes deska, right?
What a journey. Of course, I got a medal on that one. Come on. Get on the mic, good in the ring. Oh, this one? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's like, like people flip spiders into your hands and you gotta smack them? This one is weird. Yeah, candy only. <laughs> candy goes in the boxes. Spider free candy? Is that the. Is that, is that the fucking brand? Where are they? Own the candy. We promise there's 100% no spiders in our candies. 100% spot free candy. Why is it called spot free? Because there's no spiders in it. One, two, three, four. Double up. Okay, easy enough. Always gonna alternate? I thought I'd have to react, but that makes it much easier. Nice little bonus at the end. I feel like we got through that, yeah? Alright! Alright! Sixth Sense says I've recently moved up to PC gaming, really enjoy shooters on the PC. Favorite ones are once you and True deuced me to. Strafe and Sorbet Sauce. And there's a thing about my life based on this too. Enjoy reflex shooters. Our reflex shooters. Uh, Quick Champions, if you want something multiplayer. Single player, uh, Serious Sam 3. Um, I'm doing fast and twitchy. Um, there are a couple of kind of old style shooters that New Blood's put out called Dusk and Amid Evil. When am I finishing Kingdom Hearts 2? That's a great question. I should do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Doom? Yes, the new Doom. 2016 Doom. Uh, Wolfenstein the New Order. I do need to finish Kingdom Hearts 2. It's time. The time has come. The bell's been rung. Maybe I can just hook it up, like, right now. It'll take some some chords, but I can get that going. Well, it's only 819. I can probably finish it tonight. Hold on. Let me play through the next remix. Go! 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 
Actually, yeah, fuck that up. If you're gonna be never be two, I have. Yeah, Quake is a good throwback. Still somewhat playable, but you have to have the patience to I think mess with mess with mess with some mods. And you know what? Let me see if I can get this. Let me see if I can get this going here. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be dusty. It might take a minute. Yeah, I started playing through it on Steam stream a long time ago. Never finished the stream run. Got near the end, didn't finish all the worlds, and then Roxas stomped my sweet little Sora ass. Uh, but no, Kala, thank you for asking. Thank you for reminding me that I have obligations in this world. I have responsibilities. Uh, so I'm going to hook that up. It might take me a minute, but I'll, let the, I'll leave the video rolls going while I'm doing it. See you guys soon. Reconstructing music, even music that was recorded in the past, I'm able to resample it and then put it, can recompile it using Notator. Another new MIDI product on display at the Atari booth was the Digital Master Workstation that lets you do two track digital record and playback direct to disc. The whole hardware software combination sells for $4,500. Mick Fleetwood of the group Fleetwood Mac is another Atari computer musician. Fleetwood uses the new Hotz MIDI translator invented by Jimmy Hotz. It's been called the first true hyper instrument, enabling a musician with limited technical skills to create